Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is part 10 of the Acromis Air playlist. In this video, I will show you how you can add animations between the fragments navigations. So as you can see, this is the introduction fragment. And when we navigate to the account option fragment, we have this animation from the bottom to the top. And now when I click on login, as you can see, we have this animation. If I go back, we also have animation, register, the same thing. We have these cool animations that we're gonna implement in this video. And before I get started, I wanna explain a little bit about Android coordinate system. So in a school, we were teach that the coordinate system works like this. We have the X axis and we, oh uh, sorry, we have the X axis in here and we have the Y, uh, the Y axis on the top. And the zero point starts from here. This would be zero, zero, and it goes to infinity and to minus infinity for the Y axis and goes to minus infinity and to infinity to the x axis. Well, in Android, it's a little bit different. So we won't have negative values. Instead, we only have positive values. So in Android, we would have like this. This would be the x axis. And this would be the y axis. It starts from zero, goes until the device height. And also for the x-axis starts from zero, goes until the device width. Okay, now you understand how the Android coordinate system works. Now let's go to Android Studio. And luckily, navigation component make this easy for us. So go to your NavGraph. And I'm gonna go to the design. And then the navigations will be on the links between the fragments. So as you can see, we have this link. If you click on it, as you can see, you have this animation tab. And then here we have four types of animation. So the first one, which is enter animation, is for this account option fragment. And the exit animation for this introduction fragment, uh, pop enter animation. This is used when we go back or navigate back. And this would be for the introduction fragment this time. And the pop exit animation would be for the account option fragment when we pop from this fragment. Now to add animations, we first need to add the animation uh, resource directory. So click on it and choose animation from here, which is the first one. Click on OK. So the first animation we want to have is for the account options fragment. When the user clicks on start, then the account option fragment will come from the bottom to the top and cover the introduction fragment. So to make this fragment, right click on the animation uh, file or package, then create a new resource file and call this one from bottom. Create it and uh, first of and to create animation, we're gonna use the translate tag, this one. And now you wanna specify the start point and the end point for the y and x axis. So let's go back to our graph. And as we said, the animation is gonna start from the bottom to the top. So we are only so we are only interested in the y axis. And if we go back in here, so the screen starts from here and go all the way up until here. So the first point will be the height of the device or the height of the device, sorry. And the second point will be zero. So let's add that to our animation. So in here from Y delta, as I said, it's gonna start from the bottom. So the start point is height, but we don't know the device height. So for that, we're gonna type 100%. And now you're gonna specify the uh, end point. So to Y delta, and this will go to zero. Now one more attribute is the duration, which is the time of your animation. So to add that, Android duration equals, and uh, for me, I will give it 250. Or for now, I'm gonna make it uh, 400 just to show you that. Then we wanna add this animation to our link, this link. And we want to add it only for the enter animation. So click on here and as you can see, you have our, your animations shown in this, uh, in this space. So click on from bottom, click on OK, and now your animation is added to this link. Now let's launch the app and see if we get the animation. 
Okay, as you can see, click on start. And as you can see, we got that cool animation from the bottom to the top. Let me show you it again. So start, and as you can see, we have our animation. But now I'm gonna reduce the duration. I'm gonna make it 250, or maybe just gonna make it uh, 300. Now for the second link, uh, which is the login click. So uh, this one, this link, let me show you it, this link. So in this link, we will push this fragment to the left, so outside of the device, like we can simulate it like that. Uh, and the login fragment will come from the right to the left. So let's actually start creating our animations. Uh, let's go in here, create a new animation. This one is from right, create it, translate tag, and in here we're gonna specify the X axis because we are interested in that. So, uh, sorry, from X, 100% and to X, to X, 0%. Now the duration, I will give it uh, 300. So Android duration equals 300. Close this. Now to make this clear, let me show you it in here. So what we did, let me just remove this stuff. So what that code means is that our fragment now is in here. So let's say that this is the login fragment. So our animation will take the login fragment and place it to the zero point, this one. That's what this code means. Now let's create from left. And in here, translate from x delta. Now this will be minus 100 percentage to x delta 0 percentage. And the duration equals 300 and close this now minus 100 percentage means it's outside in here so this would be minus uh, 100 percentage okay now we're gonna create one more to left so we're gonna add from x so you want to push the fragment from the right to the left and from x delta here would be 0 percentage and uh, 2 x delta would be minus 100 percentage and the duration is 300 first the fragment would be in here in the device so you would push it to the left and as we said the outside left of the device is minus hundred percentage so it would get in here okay let's get back and one more for to right gonna add translate so from x delta zero percentage to x delta one hundred percentage so this is the outside right of the device and now we're gonna add the duration 300 that's it for our animations now let's go to our navigraph and add them so as we said in this link let me just go to the design mode okay so now in the login link we're gonna the the inter animation would be from right the exit animation would be to left the pub enter animation would be from left and the pub exit animation would be to right so when you put this together we will get that cool animation you will see it in a moment we're gonna add exactly the same animations for this link from the account options fragment to the register fragment i don't want to add that manually instead we can copy and paste them so click on split mode and now for this action I'm gonna copy the animations and then click on the link that goes from the account options fragment to the register fragment and then add them below the action tag 
Now let's run the device and show you everything to make it clear for you. Okay, now let's click on start. Here's the first animation. Click on login. As you can see, we have this cool animation. Get back. We also have animation. Register. So everything works. Now let's test. Now let's uh, try to go from the login to the register. We don't have an animation here. We can add that. Um, so in this link you can for example add from the bottom or you can add your own animation it's up to you so I'm just gonna add from the bottom and the same thing from register to login so I'm gonna add from bottom let's see that again login from login to register as you can see it came from the bottom we don't have an animation of course because we have not specified the pop enter animation and the pop exit animation but you can do that on your own and take that as a little exercise to add something else from this from bottom animation so be creative in this it's not that hard if you understood the basics so that was all i wanted to show you in this video and in the next video which will be the last video in the login and register activity where we just gonna use the shared preferences to hide the introduction fragment when the user clicks on start so that was all for this video again thank you so much for watching if you want to follow me on my instagram page the link is in the description of this video and have a great day see you in the next video <laughs>